14 billion years ago, and we have no idea what happened before it. And we're still expanding. There's only one most important question in astronomy. Why did the Big Bang occur? The fact that humans are unable to observe the Big Bang directly may be the main problem with this matter, but NASA has still not given up. In fact, the James Webb Telescope has captured the first images of the supposed Big Bang. But how powerful is this telescope? How will the results change the future of astronomy? Join us as we take a glimpse into this futuristic technology. What is it about the Big Bang? With a development cost of $9.7 billion in 20 years, the James Webb Telescope is now in orbit. Although it might seem like a large figure, it begins to make much more sense when you consider how powerful this telescope actually is. Scientists can use the James Webb Space Telescope to peer back 100 to 200 million years after the Big Bang. They will be able to learn so much more about how stars are created and what powers all other cosmic entities as a result of this. Science will be able to see the early cosmos at last after they understand the Big Bang event. However, in what precise way might this amazing equipment assist us in understanding the Big Bang? For this, it's important to first appreciate the significance of the Big Bang. What is it about this cosmic event that excites and motivates scientists every time? Currently, the Big Bang theory stands as the prevailing explanation for the origin of the universe. In simple terms, it argues that the cosmos, in its entirety, originated from a singular point of infinite heat and density. This minuscule point then underwent a remarkable process of inflation and expansion. Initially, this expansion occurred at inconceivable velocities. Then, it slowed to a more quantifiable rate, over 13.7 billion years. Finally, it resulted in the continuously expanding universe we observe today. Despite the inherent challenges posed by current technological limitations preventing direct observation of the universe's inception, our understanding of the Big Bang largely stems from the thorough application of mathematical formulae and models, but the James Webb Telescope now changes the situation. However, even before James Webb, astronomers have managed to detect a compelling echo of this cosmic expansion through the cosmic microwave background phenomenon. While widely embraced within the astronomical community, the Big Bang theory is not without its critics. Some theorists propose alternative explanations. These include eternal inflation or an oscillating universe. These divergent perspectives highlight the ongoing debate within the scientific community regarding the origins and nature of our universe. Approximately 13.7 billion years ago, the entirety of the universe existed in a remarkably condensed singularity a point characterized by infinite density and heat. Following that, a dramatic and explosive expansion occurred. This propelled the universe outward at speeds surpassing that of light. This era of cosmic inflation, which lasted mere fractions of a second, about 10 or 32 of a second, was first articulated in physicist Alan Guth's groundbreaking 1980 theory. This theory forever altered our conceptualization of the Big Bang. When the theory of cosmic inflation reached its end, more conventional narratives of the Big Bang took its place. A phenomenon known as reheating prevailed. Basically, this theory argues that matter and radiation laid the foundation for the elements comprising our present-day universe. This includes particles, atoms, and the essential components from which stars and galaxies would eventually emerge. This transformative process unfolded within the initial seconds after the beginning of the universe, this period was specifically characterized by a mind-blowing temperature of approximately 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit. At this juncture, the cosmos maintained a diverse range of fundamental particles. These particles included neutrons, electrons, and protons. These were essentially the elemental constituents fated to evolve into the fundamental building blocks of our current reality. During this early phase, the universe existed as an invisible soup impenetrable by light due to the scattering effect caused by free electrons. NASA highlighted that the presence of these free electrons would scatter light, also known as photons, similar to sunlight scattering through water droplets and clouds. However, the following interaction of these free electrons with nuclei led to the formation of neutral atoms, or atoms with equal positive and negative electric charges. 
This critical transformation facilitated the emergence of visible light and marked a significant milestone. It was approximately 380,000 years after the inception of the Big Bang. Referred to as the afterglow of the Big Bang, this luminous phenomenon is more precisely identified as the cosmic microwave background, also known as CMB. Initially, this theory was put forward by Ralph Alpher and fellow scientists in 1948. Its accidental discovery occurred almost two decades later. The $10 billion infrared telescope, which has only been used for scientific purposes for a year, has already produced breathtaking images of the early universe. Not only this, it has also discovered a startling number of brilliant galaxies that existed when the universe was still very young. JWST, with its 6.5-meter mirror, was intended to study this early period. It's much beyond the capabilities of its predecessor, the 2.4-meter Hubble Space Telescope. Researchers have been astounded by the observations thus far and are struggling to make sense of what they are seeing. The Futuristic James Webb the James Webb Space Telescope stands as NASA's evolutionary successor to the iconic Hubble Space Telescope. It was launched from the European spaceport near French Guiana on December 25, 2021. However, the JUST's journey was not easy. JUST experienced a significant budget expansion since its inception. In fact, its initial estimate of $0.5 billion was increased to an expenditure nearing $10 billion. Regardless, it achieved full deployment on January 8, 2022. Then on March 16, 2022, something amazing happened. James Webb focused all its mirrors on a single star and set the stage for a new era in astronomical exploration. NASA revealed the JWST's first collection of high-resolution science images on July 12, 2022. Now, this collection included fascinating views of the Carina Nebula, the Eight Burst Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, and a galaxy cluster stretching the light of objects behind it. Simultaneously, NASA presented an analysis of the composition of the exoplanet WASP-96b and discreetly shared a striking image of Jupiter. In a remarkable discovery just days later, researchers identified the oldest galaxy ever observed in Jawastadada. This ancient celestial body dates back to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Situated farther from Earth than its predecessor Hubble, which orbits at an altitude of approximately 570 kilometers above Earth's surface, the JWST occupies a Lagrange point between Earth and the Sun. Specifically, it resides at Lagrangian point 2, positioned 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. It is positioned in the opposite direction to the Sun. This strategic location takes advantage of the gravitational equilibrium between Earth and the Sun. Now, this allows the JWST to maintain its position with minimal effort. For the world and NASA, this opens up new possibilities for astronomical observations. But how exactly is James Webb different from its predecessor? James Webb versus Hubble while often characterized as a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope has a number of distinctive capabilities that set it apart from its renowned predecessor. Unlike the Hubble, which primarily observes the visual and ultraviolet segments of the electromagnetic spectrum, the JWST focuses on longer wavelengths. More specifically, it observes in the infrared range. Now, James Webb was actually developed for a number of reasons, primarily, it was developed to understand the Big Bang. For this, it is tasked to explore the nearby exoplanets and study the earliest stars. Moreover, it is supposed to observe the supermassive black holes and find indicators of the cold dark matter. But that's not all. Its applications extend to exploring young galaxies to discover the mysteries of the galactic assembly. James Webb will need to peer through the cosmic dust clouds to witness the birth of a star. Yet, the JWST also turns its gaze closer to home. What does that mean? It will conduct detailed investigations of objects within our solar system, including Mars, the gas giants, and Pluto, as well as certain asteroids and comets. Diverging from the design of the Hubble, the JWST features 18 hexagonal-shaped mirrors arranged in a honeycomb configuration. They span 6.5 meters in diameter. This is a notable contrast to Hubble's spherical 2.4-meter primary mirror. 
Now, this is because this specific design results in a marked increase in surface area. An increase in surface area provides the JWST with a light collecting capacity 6.25 times larger than that of the Hubble Space Telescope. Enhanced cameras and a sunshield measuring 22 by 12 meters further contrast the JWST's design. With this, the JWST is uniquely positioned to look deeper into the cosmic past. It is engineered to look back in time to the edge of the observable universe. Objects in this remote expanse exhibit a good amount of redshift, which necessitates the use of infrared telescopes for observation. The JWST's capabilities extend to capturing the appearance of the universe approximately 100 to 250 million years after the Big Bang. That was around 13.6 billion years ago. It was an era marked by the formation of the first stars and galaxies. With its cutting-edge technology, this ambitious telescope aims to provide unparalleled insights into the cosmic fabric of our universe. The End of Hubble In May 2009, astronauts executed a final installation on the Hubble Space Telescope. They introduced one of its final and most important instruments, the Wide Field Camera 3. This instrumental upgrade dramatically enhanced Hubble's capacity to observe in the infrared spectrum. In the ever-expanding universe, the stretching of light to longer wavelengths makes the oldest entities impossible to observe in the shorter ultraviolet or visible wavelengths. WFC3 empowered Hubble to capture light from extraordinary celestial objects. This included the galaxy GNZ11, which existed when our universe was a mere 3% of its present age, approximately 400 million years old. However, Hubble's findings from this early era were limited Multiple questions arose. Were the few visible, large, and bright galaxies indicative of instrument constraints? Or did astronomers actually witness the newborn stages of galaxy formation? The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in December 2021 addressed these uncertainties. Teams of scientists identified the galaxy glass Z12, approximately 50 million years older than GNZ11. Further, JWS observations revealed an abundance of galaxies potentially existing as early as 180 million years after the Big Bang. This was incredible. Astrophysicist Jehan Karteltepe of the Rochester Institute of Technology noted that many galaxies are bright enough for James Webb to detect. Everyone was aware that James Webb would provide them with new data, but no one expected these new discoveries. But there was something else that astronomers did not expect. The observed galaxies defied conventional expectations by potentially being larger than previously thought and calculated. The current cosmological model proposes that due to harsh conditions in the initial few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang, matter couldn't settle and condense into structures like stars and galaxies. However, the JWST's initial observations, such as the SMAX 0723 cluster, challenged existing notions. Astrophysicist Erica June Nelson from the University of Colorado Boulder observed big honking red disks that resembled extremely massive galaxies actively forming stars. Six of these elongated galaxies, dating back to the first 500 million to 700 million years of cosmic history, appear to go against the established cosmological models. Calculations suggest weights of at least 10 billion times the Sun's mass with one galaxy potentially rivaling the mass of our Milky Way. This galaxy exhibits characteristics challenging current cosmological paradigms. These revelations from JWST's cutting-edge observations instigate a re-evaluation of our understanding of the early universe and the mechanisms governing galaxy formation. What wonders of the universe will JWST expose us to? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.